I didn't really know how to start this review. This software feels very familiar and yet so different at the same time. I even tried to make a song and failed miserably. But I finally managed to organize this review in a comprehensive way. So today we are looking at Rebex Do an AI-powered stem separation pitch identification DAW with many useful features as pitch to MIDI, audio restoration, audio tuning, and more. So to begin with this explanation, let's look at how it's advertised. It has two versions, RIPX and RIPX Pro. One is $99 and the other is $198. It has an quote-unquote award-winning stem separation system. You can also edit all the pitch information on every stem. Unparalleled remixing capability, we'll see more about that and even audio replacement. It has instrument plugins integration in some way. Besides, they really want you to use it for remixing AI-generated music. The Pro version comes with all of that, plus audio repairing and cleanup features, and other creative effects. Well, all of this sounds good in paper, but let's check out how it works. This review was hard to make because honestly I don't have too much time to get used to a whole new software. So if you appreciate my efforts, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support my content, consider becoming a patron, a member, both have the same benefits. You can use my affiliate links down in the description, buy my preset packs, whatever you want. Thank you in advance. Let's begin with the stem separation, as it seems to be the main feature. You have to load up or drag and drop an audio file, select the stems you want to identify, press OK, and then just wait some minutes. So the result is this. Instead of a clip arranger kind of DAW, it's some sort of all-in-one piano roll, which is very creative and surprisingly very intuitive. This is because it identifies the pitch information of every sound. At the right you have the stems, you can mute and solo them, and change the volume. The result is not always clean because the stem separation sometimes can give you artifacts or some bleeding from one instrument to the other. <laughs> but that's why they also offer some cleaning up features. When selecting a stem, it will be highlighted and you can start editing. Now, this has some advantages, but also some issues, as for instance right here, it's identifying the high end of the kick as part of the percussions. But on the other hand, it lets you tune and repeat everything so you can literally change the whole scale of the song even the structure, so you can make a different melody for any element. Now for melodic stuff, it also identifies notes playing at the same time, so you can actually modify chords. It has a chord and scale identification system. I will go deep into that in a moment, I just want to test something. First, how good it is detecting scales. This song was originally on A minor, so let's play it and select detect. And it's not identifying it properly. Now the chords are well identified, but let's try with something more complicated. I made this progression where each chord is more complex than the last one. Let me import it and see if it can identify it as they are. So let me import it and see if it can identify them. The chords I use are C minor, D minor 7, F minor 11, and E flat major 7 sus 4. I gotta say, it did a great job, those are actually the chords. Now, the other thing that they want you to do is to use this DAW to edit AI music. They even added this big brain icon that if you press it, it will take you to their favorite AI music generators. The idea is that on the state of AI music today is not very clean, so with RIPX you can actually clean it and remix it as you want. <laughs> Now, this software also has some effects that you can apply to each stem. Not only that, you can set the effects to affect specific moments and sounds inside one stem, just by selecting it and then going to the right and choosing the mount. These effects can also be automated here at the bottom. One of the best features is the pitch editing. As you saw, you can select individual notes, even from chords, and move them around to another note. So if you have a song that you cannot record again or modify the original instruments, and you find it that has some detuned elements, you can go and fix that. I just realized I'm wearing this shirt backwards. You can do it manually with different options as the pencil or by applying these effects. If you select a scale, this will force every note to that specific key. You can flatten them out and even quantize them. I don't know where to go, this is not my last time. In vocals, it kinda gives you a result similar to autotune or a bit extremer melodyne. I don't feel like myself. I don't feel like myself. 
It also lets you edit the timing and chop the sound as you want. You can even work in groups to have something similar as a clip, and then you start building different loops, repetition, and rearrange everything. So that's basically how you use it for remixing. The Pro version has more features for cleaning up the sound, and the two best ones are the Unpitch Editor and the Harmonic Editor. Unpitch will take everything that's not identified as a pitch, as noise, mod clicks, air, and so on, and let you cut it depending on the frequencies. The harmonic editor will let you increase or decrease the gain of certain harmonic sounds, letting you enhance the melodic information and the way the sound is built. Other feature is the sound replacement. If, for instance, you don't like the kick of a song, you can select a stem or the specific moment for that kick, and then go to sounds and start applying a sample to it. On 100% or, or just by clicking, it will replace it. Repex doesn't have a plugin host like any other JW, but you can still use plugin instruments. You have to select this icon and it will let you upload a BST file. When it opens, you can create the sound you want or select a preset, and then you select the note range. It's going to sample all of those notes to keep it more natural. I know the process is slow and for every change you want to make, you will have to repeat it all over again which makes me wish this DAW also could host plugins. Going to one of my favorite features, RipX lets you take all of this pitch information and export it as MIDI. This could be easily be a plugin just for that, for about the same price, and it will be still very useful. For instance, if you're not sure about the chords of a song you like, instead of guessing them by ear, you can rip it and take the MIDI. <laughs> example you could sing a melody idea, record it, tune it and then export the MIDI to use it within your DAW. So you see it has a lot of great uses. It's not going to replace my DAW anytime soon, but it's a great addition for my music software. Now for composing, well that's another story. I'm so used to use MIDI clips, audio clips, having mixer tracks and everything else that I couldn't get used to this workflow. But that's on me, I'm sure there are a lot of people making killer tracks of this. Still, for the price, you get a pitch editor, key changer, noise reducer, audio restoration, stem separator, anything else that I show you today, so this is still a great software. But of course, what's important is your opinion. So let me know in the comments what you think about RipX. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time, and bye bye.